Hello my science friends, this blood vessel makes me happy. This is a 3D asset developed by Ryo Mitsuta. I find it really cool, so I want to share with you guys. I'll be even happier if I can swim among these cells. If I get enough likes for the video, I will hop into the blood. You can go to his YouTube video, Blood Vessel Illustration in Blender, and click on this link in the description. It will guide you to Ryo's website. In order to download, you have to type in a number. I'll just type something here right now. When you open the file, you will see a layout like this. You need to click on the blood vessel and it will show you the geometric nodes. You can easily adjust the elements within a 3D model by playing with these parameters in the modifier. I'll walk you through the modifiers. I'll also show you how to make an animation at the end of this video. Somehow Real didn't include the animation in the tutorial. My graphic card is working really hard. Can you hear the fan? This is a very heavy asset. Make sure you have a good graphic card. The blood vessel comes in as a path so if you go into the edit mode and select the anchor point you can move the anchor point around and then the blood vessel will move along and change the shape i think this is a little bit heavy for my computer which graphic card did you have real i think you have a way better graphic card than mine the graphic is quite smooth in his tutorial uh, first parameter is length resolution you can adjust this to define how smooth your vessel would be. When I decrease it to six, there is a sharp angle in this corner of the blood vessel. By default, it is 100. Blood vessels should be smooth. We're not robots. Radial resolution, smoothness of the cross section. If I lower it to six, it becomes a hexagon. Honestly, I think it's really cool. But if you're making a scientific illustration, you cannot use this because because your illustration needs to represent scientific conventions. We rarely see hexagon-shaped vessels. If you have one, please show me a. But in the meantime, let me bump it up back to 64. So now we have a smooth, rounded cross-section. Radial slice point, by adjusting this, you can close and open the blood vessel. You can also adjust the cutway start and where the cutway ends. By manipulating these two parameters, you can decide how big your window should be. Okay. Then inner radius. Inner radius allow us to make the vessel bigger or smaller. Here's the checkbox say show blood. If we want to uncheck it, then all the blood cells will be gone. I love the cells, so I'll call them back by checking the box. The window is too narrow now. The light cannot go in. Let me open it wider. There we go. We have these beautiful lighting on our blood cells. If we bump up the element scale, all the cells become bigger. Element density, that's quite straightforward. The higher, the more cells there will be in the given space. Element transition, this is the one that can move your cells. I'll show you how to make an animation from this later. Displacement. If you bump it up, the cells will be scattering outside of the blood vessels. Type 0, all the cells will be aligned very orderly. Element rotation can increase the randomness between the cells. If you know how to work on the geometric nodes, you can do even more between the layers of the vessel epitheliums. I'm not going to go too deep into this. You can check out Rio's tutorial. In the tutorial, you can see there's an animation showing the cells are flowing inside of the blood vessels, but I didn't get it from the file I downloaded. I don't know why the animation is not included, but not a big deal. I can make it by myself. Remember element transition is the parameters that can move your cells around. This is the parameter I'm going to animate. I will open the animation tab and you can find all the keyframes here. Uh, let me go to zero. Starting parameter, I will type in zero and I'll click on animate property and I get a keyframe here. And I'll go all the way to 256. I'll check the manual frame range. Start zero and 256 cyclic animation and i will keyframe the last frame as one okay now when i press space the cells will be moving looks like a highway and the beginning and the end looks a little bit awkward the cells are slowing down when it approach to the last frame 
it looks like they are in a traffic jam. We don't want that. We just need to right click on the timeline. Now the velocity of the animation is equal in every frame. My fan is burning right now. <laughs> I don't think my computer will crash, but it is not as smooth as Rio's computer. This is a sign I should update my graphic card. I hope this Blood Vessel 3D model also made you guys happy. If I get enough likes for this video, I will go swim together with all these cells. You guys can also reach out to Rio on Twitter to give him some support and also ask him why he didn't include the animation in his tutorial. And ask him, did I do the animation correctly? I enjoy hanging out with you guys today. I will share my next happy thing in the next video. I will see you then.